Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie, as you know. In this lesson, well, I decided to do another lesson for the pronunciation of S on plural nouns because I can see that some of my students, no, all of my students need more practice with the pronunciation of S on plural nouns. So I created pronunciation of S on plural nouns number two. Let's switch over to our work screen and get this lesson. This is going to be lesson number 57. Okay, so you have to absolutely pronounce your S on plural nouns, no exceptions. So let's listen to what it sounds like, these nouns with a, an S on them. Coins, relatives, freckles, exams, germs, puzzles, fundraisers, pancakes. Okay, so now you just have to listen carefully and repeat the following sentences after me. I have aches, pains, chills, and a runny nose. I think I will go back to bed. They put together a great team of actors and writers. The students have to follow the rules in class. The wild animals are eating the vegetables in my garden. The hinges on the door are broken. The restaurants, gyms, and bars are closed because of the pandemic. Did you prefer the 80s or the 90s? She has a lot of freckles on her cheeks. Our customers really appreciate the discount coupons in our flyers. Put the noodles in the pot and let them boil gently for seven minutes. I love the variety of nuts and cherries in this fruitcake. I put onions, tomatoes, and pickles on all the hamburgers. She has tattoos on both arms and legs. How many bones are in the human body? I like to read books and watch documentaries about dinosaurs. She has been having migraines for several years. The keys on both my keyboards are sticky. Do you know any good jokes? I need some coins for the vending machine. Put the files in the filing cabinets. I need new speakers for my computer. The snow plows are clearing the roads in the towns and villages. I have a lot of nice pictures of my grandkids. They say that no two snowflakes, <clears throat> excuse me, let's start over. They say that no two snowflakes are alike. Do you have any hobbies or special interests? What are your plans for the weekend? I really like to listen to podcasts. Do you have any suggestions 
or recommendations. Do you want scrambled eggs, waffles, or pancakes and sausages for breakfast? Most of my relatives will be there. Be sure to wash your hands often to reduce the spread of germs. The students will participate in three fundraisers at school this year. Do you like to do crossword puzzles? She really likes to color, so I will get her some colored pencils, a pack of markers, and a couple of coloring books for her birthday. Now here's a sentence that's going to be a little bit longer. We saw ants, bees, ladybugs, spiders, beetles, cockroaches, centipedes, crickets, grasshoppers, scorpions, butterflies, and other fascinating insects at the insectarium. Now here's a sentence that's going to be even longer than that one. So let's get ready for this one. For our camping trip, I packed the sleeping bags, pillows, shoes, boots, socks, pots, pans, plates, bowls, cups, flashlights, batteries, wieners, hot dog buns, three pounds of ground beef, two bottles of ketchup, marshmallows, eggs, beans, three loaves of bread, chips, snacks, bathing suits, flip-flops, and toys and games for the kids. And that's how you do it. That's how you pronounce the S on plural nouns. If this lesson helped you, you guys can go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like the video, hit the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video for you. If you need some extra help with your um, English, you can get yourselves a copy of Basic English. This is the third edition published by McGraw-Hill and available everywhere, including, of course, Amazon. This is a progressive working tool. So I suggest that you start at the beginning, you work on and complete every single page right to the end of the book. And uh, the answer key is at the back to support you while you are learning. If you're having difficulty with your English verb tenses, you can get yourselves a copy of English verb tenses. This book was specifically designed to improve and master your comprehension of English verb tenses because so many people tell me how much trouble that they have with this. And it's not difficult at all. And you will see that working in this book. You start at the beginning, you work on every single page right through to the end of the book. The answer key is at the back to support you while you are learning. Also, if you would like to ask a question or leave a comment, or if you have a suggestion of a word or letter combination that you have difficulty pronouncing, you can put it down in the comments section below and I will definitely include it in an upcoming uh, lesson. Okay, also I would like to mention that I have a new Facebook page which is called Learn English with Julie Lachance. Um, I'll be putting up and I am putting up things there for you guys so we can meet up over there if you want to go over to that Facebook page and like it. Um, for now, I'm going to wish you a great day and I will see you in the next lesson. So, goodbye for now.